Stephen Horahan here at brandmasteracademy.com and in this video you're going to learn exactly what a brand strategy session is and the three phases that will help you structure your sessions but more importantly enhance your results. Now when it comes to developing brand strategies and strategic brands for your clients then the brand strategy session is really really important but before you go diving into a session without understanding what your goals are and what your approach is it's important to know what options are available to you it's important to know what you want to do what you want to achieve by the end of that brand strategy session and the different ways that you can go about it so that you actually have a strategy for your strategy session. So why don't we start by defining exactly what the brand strategy session is? Well, the session is just another word for a meeting. So the brand strategy session is a meeting between the business leaders and the strategists to uncover the critical information about the business, about the market that that business is in, the industry that it's in, so that the strategist has the critical information that they need to map out a plan to build the actual brand. Now the first part of this session is all about learning. It's all about an opportunity for the strategist to learn about the business, to learn about its operations, who it's trying to appeal to, the market that it's in, the competitors that it's in, so that they can understand the complete market landscape. And when they do that, when they understand the market landscape, what competitors are out there and what the audience wants, then they can start to put together a plan to shape the perceptions of that audience to how the brand wants to be seen, how the brand wants to be seen within that marketplace. So the brand strategy session is that information gathering session, first and foremost, to gather all that information to then strategize on the best approach. Now the term brand strategy session means different things to different people, but there is no right or wrong way to do your brand strategy session. Some strategists will take a face-to-face -face approach and they'll wanna sit down with their clients on a face-to-face -face point of view in the room with the leadership team and the C-suite, while others will have a remote approach. So they'll be able to break the strategy session up into multiple different sessions and do that from anywhere in the world through phone or video conference. When it comes to your decision, it really depends on the market that you're playing in and the position that you wanna take in that market. Do you wanna be known within your city as a go-to person for strategy so you can sit down face-to-face with your clients or do you want to be able to service clients from anywhere in the world so let's take a look at those two approaches now the first approach is also known as a brand strategy workshop now this is the face-to-face -face approach so the strategist will go into the offices of the client and they'll sit down with the leadership team and the C-suite and this can be a meeting that goes from anywhere from two hours to three days it really depends on the size of the client and the size of the potential project as well now this approach is suitable for businesses with multiple decision makers that all want to hand in the direction of the business and the direction of the brand. But the sit down approach is highly collaborative. So the leadership team is going to be heavily involved right throughout from, you know, the discovery session right through to developing insights, coming up with ideas and strategizing on the best approach. So it's really important that the strategist in this example has the skill set to be able to chair a meeting like that, to be able to hold a presentation and a meeting over the course of anywhere up to two or three days. So it's a really collaborative environment where they all work together and that can really lead to, you know, improving your client relationships and really developing rapport. And that is definitely one of the advantages of this approach, being able to develop that rapport. And it also throws up some insights that don't come with a remote approach. But one of the disadvantages to this approach is having that presentation skill set it's not something that comes naturally to everybody and it does take a certain type of personality to be able to chair a meeting like that and if you are going to go down that road you really do need to work on those skills or uh, acquire those skills to be able to hold a meeting like that but another disadvantage to this approach is the physical location you need to be there to be able to chair those meetings so this comes back to your position in the market and the market that you're targeting. Do you want to be known as the go-to person and the go-to strategist within your given city? Or do you want to serve clients all over the world? So if you do want to be known within your city or you want to be physically there, then you need to define what area you're going to serve. Now, the other approach here is the remote brand strategy session approach. Now, obviously, the difference here is that you're not sitting down face to face with your clients. Rather, you're holding these sessions remotely via phone or via video conference. Now, due to the nature of these sessions, they're structured differently to the face to face sessions. You're not going to be sat there on a video conference with your client for days on end. And because of that, it's a different style as well. So it's not the same collaborative style 
as the face-to-face -face approach, you need to break up those sessions into smaller condensed sessions that are digestible. So anywhere from you know one to two hours to gather that kind of information and to be able to then take that information and strategize on that later on. Now this approach is more suited to businesses that have less decision makers involved. So you, we're talking smaller businesses here when compared to the workshop approach. They have maybe one or two decision makers and therefore it's much easier to be able to hold a conference like that via video or via phone when compared to, you know, bigger businesses that have you know, multiple C-suite executives that want to all have their hand in their strategic approach. So one of the advantages to this approach as well is physical location. You know, you don't have to be there in the office and that means that you can serve a much broader audience. You can serve a much broader market. Your clients can be in Canada, they can be in the UK or Australia and you can jump on the phone or jump on Skype and be able to hold that conference with them. So you can serve a much broader market and you don't have to have the same skills that you need to with a workshop approach you don't need to be physically there holding a meeting with multiple c-level executives over a period of two days that takes a lot more skill to be able to hold a meeting like that when compared to a two-hour video conference call now the major disadvantage to this approach is in relation to relationship building and insights if you're in a room with a group of executives over a period of two to three days there are many many opportunities to make human connections and to build that rapport and really show your human side and you know build up that human relationship with them and you know being in an environment like that you're able to bounce ideas off each other all the time so a lot more insights come up so that is a disadvantage to that approach you don't have that ability to build that rapport the way you would do in a physical environment and you might potentially miss out on insights that would otherwise come up. Now the terms discovery session, brand strategy session, strategy development session are all terms that are used interchangeably but they are different so let's take a look at that difference. So what is a discovery session? Well put quite simply a discovery session is a game of understanding. It's about understanding as much as you possibly can about the business, its operations, the market and industry that it's in, who it's serving, the competitors already serving that group of people so that you can really gather as much information and be armed with as much information as possible before you start to strategize on that information. Now it's really important to have a high level of discipline here because in this environment of information gathering there are a lot of insights and ideas that come up and if the strategist doesn't have the experience it can be easy to go off on a sidetrack and follow an idea or follow an insight without completing that discovery session in full. But if you cut that discovery session prematurely, then the chances of you missing some important information are really, really high. And if that's the case, if you do miss some important information, then the brand is simply not going, going to be aligned. It's not gonna be accurate based on the information that's available. So it's really important to follow through to the end of that discovery session, to not get sidetracked with ideas and insights and really push through to make sure all of that critical information is gathered. Then you have your brand strategy development session. Now this is a game of creative brand development and essentially what you're doing here is you're taking the information that you've gathered within the discovery session and you're looking for insights, you're looking for gaps and opportunities within the marketplace and what you're really looking for here is a spark and that spark will be the driver behind the entire brand development process. I'm talking your internal brand, your positioning and differentiation strategy, your human brand persona, your communication framework, and all of the questions that get answered within this phase include, you know, how are we gonna position ourselves in the market? What value is that difference gonna make in our audience's lives? And how do we want them to see that value? What characteristics are we going to display within our personality? What stories are we gonna tell? How is our brand going to look? All of these questions are answered within this stage and this is where the strategic brand is built. So we've separated the discovery session and the strategic brand development session but sandwiched in between the two is another session and that is the market research and this is the meat of the entire brand strategy session. Now the business leaders that you're working for are going to have a lot of information. They'll have a lot of information about their business, about the industry that they're in. They might even have a lot of information about their target audience or the competitors in their space but there will be a lot of information that they don't have and it's your job as the strategist to go and find that information and make sure you have everything that you need. So you need to dig deep into who that audience is and go deeper than your clients will have information on. So you need to understand their challenges and their pain points and the emotional investment they have and you need to understand 
the strategy behind their competitors as well. What is their position in the marketplace and their messaging strategy as well? So it's your job to really dig deep and to gather that information. And the more information that you have at your disposal, the more tools you have to strategize on the best approach. I really hope you enjoyed that video and you got something from it. In the next video, I'm going to run through a detailed framework that you can use to hold a brand strategy session. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well. If you want exclusive brand strategy tips and techniques directly into your inbox, head on over to brandmasteracademy.com and sign up for the newsletter. It is free and I'll drop those techniques right into your inbox. But I wanna hand it over to you now. Are you holding brand strategy sessions with your clients at the moment or is it something that you're working towards? If you want to hold those brand strategy sessions in those different phases then check out the next video but I'd love to know what challenges you have when it comes to holding those sessions is there any difficulty that you've come across or do you have a go-to technique that you use when holding brand strategy sessions with your client let me know in the comments below I'll do my best to answer all of those queries and questions until next time brand like a master and I will see you in the next video